G'day, how you going? So today I'm going to talk about my workflow on that sports photography uh, thing that I did last week at the footy. When I got home and checked it all out, the noise was just too much. There was not enough light at the ground. There was a night match. At 150, it's like 5.6. So plus um, being a night game and you know needing a higher shutter speed around 1000 or even 2000 sometimes, you know 1500 say, uh, it just got too dark so I had to pump the ISO up to like a high amount so what I did I downloaded that DxO pure raw and I'm telling you now it's, it's it really is like magic I mean even for my normal photos at 200 ISO it just turns shit it turns all my crap photos into professional photos I'm telling you it's a it really is amazing I don't know what the hell algorithm that they've got, but they, you know, they need to patent that crap. I think there's Topaz as well. So I'll go through how I got all those photos and how I'll show you how I culled them. Because when you're doing burst mode, man, you're taking home like three or 400 shots and it's like, it's just the post-processing is a nightmare. That's the beauty of this, you know, DxO Pure Raw, man. It's total batch. Man, if I had to go through every single photo and fix up the the noise and the sharpening and all that crap, uh, it, I mean, I will, I'd, I'd still be here doing it, you know. So this thing, man, you just chuck it, chuck it in, click go, and it's all batch processed, and it just goes through every single photo and turns it into magic. <laughs> so the first thing I do is I just open them up in uh, Normal Explorer. First round, I'll delete anything that's crap anything's out of focus or it's useless or you know mis misfired or whatever that's round one and then I bring all the semi good ones over into workspace and what I do is then I use the number one key and give it a score of one so now I'll add a new folder select everything and move it all over into done and then in my done I've got all the ones that are culled to one star alright so now because the game was at night and the ISO was very high I downloaded this new thing pure raw and it looks awesome so I went and bought it I need all the help I can get so if this thing is magic as what it looks like I mean looking at the examples that Rob Trek did it it, it looks like magic I don't know what it's doing it's got you know artificial intelligence you know a Blade Runner technology Enhance 34 to 36 <laughs> alright so I've got my done folder of so many files I'll just do four files as an example DxO optical modules are needed to apply custom optical corrections specific to your equipment alright so my lens is version 2 the EM10 Mark II with the 14 to 150 version 2 download selection process photos is that it? <laughs> man this is so easy process four photos so just use the best one I guess what are these other ones for Pfft, just use the best one I mean if the best ones there use the best one and I want to put it as a DNG I don't want to put it as a JPEG because I want to continue to process it in Luminar uh, that's the beauty of this software it doesn't ruin the raw file it just changes it to that generic raw file and process tick tock tick tock tick tock processing done processing wow this is really fast and really good all right so now it lets you view the results you probably can't see it on YouTube but that is amazing I, th I, I, I think I was even out of focus <laughs> and it's you know I oh mean it wasn't out of focus but it was very grainy and it's completely cleaned it up far out that's amazing and it's a raw file still, so I can still muck around with it. That's the original. That's how grainy it was. Look at the grass. But more, say look at his leg. Huh, huh. Far out. Maybe go back a bit, because that's way too zoomed in. 
for a hack like me, you beauty, you know, this I've got another tool that's going to help me take better photos. I guess it's almost cheating, but you know, it might make people a bit lazy, but still. So even if you've got a, a, a really good ISO, you know, a decent ISO shot, or a hot, low ISO shot, this will make it even better. Anyway, so as you can see, that DxO software, Pure Raw, I mean, they should call it Pure Magic. I don't know, one day they're going to get, they're going to invent, you know, super 300 megapixel cameras with, you know, you can, like on that Blade Runner, just zoom in, sharpen it up. You know, like when you watch those uh, cop shows, you know, like NCSI and, you know, TV shows where they go, you know, z zoom in. Uh, and can you clean up the image? <laughs> I mean, I reckon that's, I mean, half the time it's complete bullshit because there's no way you can clean it up to make it look exactly like the photo, but I'm telling you now, all right, so, and by the way, I'm uh, filming on my EM1 Mark II with the 45 millimeter lens, and I've got a little shotgun mic that I bought on sitting on top for better sound, because I finally got a camera, because the bloody EM10 doesn't have a mic jack, I finally got a camera now where I can vlog, you know, rather than using my, uh, I was using an old um, Galaxy S6, I think, uh, Android phone, which was alright, I mean, it does 4K even, and half, all my videos have turned out alright, but this is a step up. I mean, I, well, I watch a lot of that camera conspiracy and I think secretly that Casey guy, he really likes the Olympus, uh, especially the EM1 Mark III, which is the EM2, same thing. And I know he's all, you know, he's, he's, having, I know he's only, you know, having a laugh, you know, <clears throat> but when you do watch all these videos uh, side by side, I'm telling you now, the, the Olympus one, to me, the, the colours are awesome and it comes out good, you know, and he even says it, he goes, oh, you know, the Olympus is, I mean, secretly, I think he loves the Olympus, so. All right, Jerry, say goodbye. Oh, Jerry. All right, I'll catch you later. Are you itchy? Huh? You itchy? Yes, you have a good scratch. Huh? You having a good scratch? Yes, you're a good girl.